Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. In today's video we are going to show you a very simple way to produce some alcohol. So for this experiment we are going to use some very simple substances and some very simple utensils. So we are going to use some common sugar and some yeast packets. Uh, as utensils we are going to use a, a large glass bottle in which we are going to conduct the experiment and then we are going to use this airlock which are going to explain how it works. Our experiment begins uh, by putting some sugar uh, in a large metallic recipient. Uh, we are going uh, to weigh uh, 250 grams of sugar for 1 liter of final wash. So for our experiment, since we want 4 liters of final wash, we are going to put a whole packet of sugar with just uh, 1 kilogram of sugar. Next, uh, we are going to add 2 liters of water to our sugar. Uh, we want 4 liters of final wash uh, and we only add 2 liters because we know that the volume increases uh, because we added uh, 1 kg of sugar. Then also we are going to add some water in which uh, some uh, yeast is dissolved. Uh, and uh, then we are going uh, to bring everything to 4 liters by adding some water. Now we are going uh, to uh, go in the kitchen because we want to dissolve our dissolved sugar. For this uh, we are going to heat this solution in order uh, to make it dissolve more easily because we know that its solubility increases by increasing the temperature. Uh, when our sugar is dissolved we are going to prepare our yeast while we let down our solution to cool. So to repair our yeast we are going to need some hot water but you should remember not to use your tap water but to use some distilled water and heat it up. So we are going to do this. Then we are going to add 3 bags of yeast each containing 8 grams of it and then we are going to stir a bit until it is a homogeneous solution. Since we have to wait half an hour for this solution to be activated, we are going to transfer our sugar solution into our big glass bottle. You have to be very careful not to spill it because it is very sticky when it falls on the surface since a large amount of sugar is dissolving it. After we have transferred our solution into the bottle, we are going to verify whether our yeast has activated. So to do that, we are going to use some sugar and we are going to put it into the solution of yeast. If some foam starts to form after a bit, then our yeast has activated. In fact, you can see this in our video. After our yeast has activated, the only thing that we have to do is to verify uh, whether our solution of sugar is uh, cold enough because you have to remember that yeast can survive at a temperature around 40 to 50 degrees in this case. Uh, so we are going to add it after it has cooled down and off. So now we are going to use our airlock. It is composed of three parts. The first is a lock made of plastic, then it is another cover made of plastic and at last a main body. So what we are going to do is first we are going to see that there is a column in this main body which is going to indicate where we should put our water. Then we are going to put our plastic cover on top of it and then we are going to put this airlock in the bottle. After that we are going to add some water until a certain level, you have to remember it is below the, the height of the column and then we are simply going to tap it with our lock.
So after we have mixed together two solutions, we are going to see some bubbles forming. And this is because Istra started to react with the sugar containing the solution. What happens exactly is a reaction called fermentation. And this is a reaction that happens in absence of oxygen. In this reaction, sugar is transformed into carbon dioxide and ethanol, which is ethylic alcohol. Then we are going to see that the airlock has a very important role in this reaction because it lets carbon dioxide pass, but it doesn't let air go in and this is uh, very important uh, because if air was uh, to come into the bottle uh, the yeast would start another reaction in which uh, sugar would be transformed in carbon dioxide and water and there will be no alcohol. So this is the final appearance of our uh, experiment, in fact uh, this is uh, what you should obtain and uh, this uh, uh, has happened after we have let it react for 10 days. Uh, you should uh, make it react for about 10 or 15 days, uh, but in our case we left it for a little bit less uh, because we have seen that uh, our airlock has stopped uh, producing a lot of bubbles. In fact you can see that only occasionally some bubbles are forming and now there is one. Uh, so uh, you, uh, this, we did this uh, because uh, the reaction has slowed a lot uh, and if you have to wait uh, for another week for example uh, there would be uh, relatively little alcohol produced uh, than from what has been produced till now. Another step that you can do, but this one is optional, you can use some activated charcoal to brighten your solution. What it does is simply to absorb all the suspensions that are contained in the solution. So everyone, the experiment is over for today uh, and uh, we want to remember you that uh, for this experiment we have uh, used some very simple substances uh, like sugar and water and uh, some uh, yeast uh, to produce uh, our alcohol. Uh, if you want to see more experiments in which you do some synthesis, for example that of biodiesel, you can follow this link uh, and see it. Uh, so for today is over and if you want to uh, leave a comment uh, do this below uh, and also give us a like. Uh, so if you want to see more amazing experiments like this, uh, go to the place and cut. Tweet. So, thank you for watching.